Let's talk about the singer brain because actually you need more than one. A singer is different from any other musician because you're the only one who actually has words. The pianist doesn't have the words and the guitarist doesn't have the lyrics. You have the lyrics. Also, you are a person actually communicating something. So you also kind of have to play a role or express what you're feeling. You have to be that content of the song. So let's talk about the different areas that you have to train your brain to focus on simultaneously. That is the hard part. So of course, number one, you have the lyrics. Knowing that you have to focus on lyrics, it is a really good idea not to only practice enunciation, the actual just shaping of words properly, but also connecting the words to a meaning. And there's a lot of cool exercises you can do, speaking out the words of the song and maybe speaking them like they are part of the song, kind of just mimicking and marking where it goes up and down, where it goes more intense, where it was more breathy or something. I have seen a dream come true. You can really mimic what's happening in the actual song and that's gonna help you translate that into the actual music. But when you leave out the actual melody, it gives you a better chance to just train your brain to focus on lyrics, to focus on expressiveness, to focus on the actual words and the meaning. So anytime when you have a lot of different elements, it's a really good idea to just to take it apart, to focus on one element at a time and then Add another layer as you go along, as you practice. Now the next layer of singing is of course the counting part. You have to keep a beat and a measure and have a good feeling. So training that part of your brain is totally important. So, you know, counting, take a metronome and count. I'm always surprised at how many people have no clue. And if you know that naturally maybe you're not so inclined to just having this really awesome innate feeling for rhythm and for timing so that you can always be on the downbeat when there's the downbeat and be on the upbeat, be on the pickup note very accurately, then it is a really good idea to train because your perception of time is very subjective. The metronome, however, teaches your brain to be a little bit more objective. The next element that you have to train your singer brain to really be accurate on is pitch control. Not only do you have to control the pitches, but you also have to listen differently. Listening skills and actually shaping pitches, creating pitches to where they are very accurate. The better your pitch accuracy is, the more professionally you will come across. And there are lots of exercises you can do to train your brain to have better pitch accuracy. I have a few videos that I will link below that are all about pitch training and ear training. Now the next element really is just the technique of creating your singing sound. It's your entire body that is involved. Well, it's actually your entire upper body that is involved. You want to be more aware of what are my ribs doing, the expansion, the compression that happens, the subglottal compression, so that then you can create a more intense sound. Vocal cord closure, you have to kind of train your brain to focus on like, what does it feel like? Also vibrato, what does it feel like to do vibrato and not? You have to find those buttons that you can turn off and on so you can combine everything in endless manners. Like there's endless combinations. You can be breathy and loud. You can be breathy and soft. You can be breathy and high. You can be breathy and low. So you can combine a lot of different elements in all kinds of ways. And that's why you always have to focus on maybe one thing at a time. Focus on feeling the tightness of how your vocal cords are closed. At another time, focus on your posture. At another time, focus on your voice color and the pharyngeal space and how it makes your voice color change. Darker, brighter, lighter, heavier, all these elements. And of course, another really important element is musicality and the phrasing, the actual expression. That has a little bit to do also with the first point that I mentioned, just connecting to the lyrics, but not only, it's really combining the lyrics with the music 
and listening to the accompaniment, listening to the instrumentation, the arrangement, it is all relevant. So really as a singer, you need at least three or four brains, better though, five. And you wanna train those brains all the time separately so that then you can put them together. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who may also benefit. If you have not read my book, Master Your Voice, it's gonna help you to be very motivated. And there's a lot about technique also in there. So you can find it on Amazon. The link is also below. So now go into the world and do some awesome singing. I hope to see you soon. Subscribe if you have not already for more singing tips videos. And until I see you again, do keep on singing. I must be strong.